Hi, uh, I'm Mr Carter, I'm Principal of Thetford Academy and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our classroom rules and expectations just to make it easier for that transition to high school. So I'm going to talk you through uh, what happens in a classroom at Thetford Academy and how we expect you to behave and how our rules work. And I'm going to start with the start of a lesson. So, when you start a lesson, it's all about entry first. So, in each classroom, the teacher will expect you to line up in the corridor outside at the door in a single straight line. They'll check your uniform, they'll check your behaviour, they'll expect you to be silent, and when they're ready, they will invite you into the room. And when they do, you'll go to your allotted seat. That will be in a seating plan. So the teacher will tell you where to sit and they will ask you to stand behind your chair in silence. They'll check your uniform, they'll check your equipment, they'll make sure you're silent, and when they're ready, they'll invite you to sit down. Like with all instructions we give at Thetford Academy, we're really clear about what we expect and really, really specific. So we will say things like, you may come into the classroom in silence. You need to stand behind your chair in silence. And when we want you to do certain things, we will count down and we will say go. So for example, a teacher will say, when I say go, you may sit down in silence. And they will say, three, two, one, go. And they will expect you all to sit down in silence straight away so that everybody's clear what they have to do. When the teacher's done that, they'll take the register. They'll do that by calling your name and they'll expect you to say yes sir or yes miss and everybody else remains in silence. They might have given you something to do on the board while they're doing that. Okay, so just to talk you through some of the more specific rules within the classroom. Start of the lesson is really important. You've come in in silence, your uniform and equipment's been checked, you've sat down in an orderly fashion, the register's been taken. There's a series of other rules that we follow and they're the same in every classroom in the school. Every teacher follows the same set of rules, has the same set of expectations, and they'll give you the same sets of instructions. So it's the same everywhere you go, and you don't get mixed up. Now, at Thetford Academy, one of the key things you need to know about is something called slant. Now, slant stands for something. Sit up straight with nothing in your hands. Listen carefully. Ask and answer questions. Never interrupt and track the teacher. If I talk a little bit about some of these in more detail, sit up straight with nothing in your hands, what that means is when the teacher's talking, when they're explaining something, when they're going through something on the board, they expect you to sit either with your arms folded or with your or the hands in front of you so that you're not fiddling with things, okay, and that your attention is completely on the teacher. So whenever the teacher's giving an instruction or, in, or explaining things, you sit up straight, nothing in your hands, shoulders back, Back nice and straight, self-respect, self-discipline. Listening carefully and asking and answering questions are just about how a good classroom operates. If you've got something to say, you don't just blurt it out. You wait for the teacher to invite you to speak and you do that by raising your hand. The teacher might invite you to speak straight away or they might say, I'm gonna to come to you in a minute and come, come back to you shortly. We never interrupt at Thetford Academy. It's one of the golden rules. You never shout out, you never interrupt a teacher, you never interrupt another pupil. Tracking the teacher may be something that will be new to you when you come to Thetford Academy, but what it's about, it's about good social skills and showing that you're paying attention during a lesson. So what that means in reality is that when a teacher's talking, you look at them. You don't have to gaze intensely into their eyes in a, in a strange, scary way, but what you should be doing is if the teacher's talking, you sit up nice and straight and you watch them so that they know you're paying attention. If you know what slant is and you follow it, it will be very rare that you'll get into any trouble. These are, the, these are the golden rules that keep everybody focused and focused on their learning at Thetford Academy. So just to reiterate, sit up straight with nothing in your hands, listen carefully, ask and answer questions, never interrupt and track the teacher. We also use another phrase, steps. And this is about how we get on as people in the school, children and adults, children and children. So. The S stands for sir and miss. So when you're talking to a teacher, you call them sir, or you call them miss, or you call them by their name, okay? Teachers will be equally polite to you. They'll use your name, or if they're not sure about the name, they may well call you sir or miss as well. So we're really, really polite, and we treat pe talk to people with respect. Manners are really important. The T stands for thank you. So if someone lends you something, or does something for you, or gives you something, you make sure that you say thank you. Excuse me. So, if we bump into someone, if we get in someone's way, if we need to interrupt them for some reason, we say, um, excuse me, because it's the polite thing to do. If we want something from other people, we say, please. And finally, 
smiling, that we make good eye contact and we smile at people when we're communicating them because school is about more than just a set of exams. When you leave here, we want you to have excellent social skills so that you can go into any situation, look at someone in the eye and be able to communicate with them as an equal. So if you follow slant and steps when you're at Thetford Academy, you can't go far wrong. Now, the things, other things that you just need to be aware of is the way that we deal with uh, good things and bad things, we call them merits and demerits. So if you get something right, if you do something well, and that could be work or it could be in the way that you act, we will give you merits, okay? And those merits add up to getting badges and uh, golden tickets home and letters and calls home to parents. So that's how you build up credit, you get merits. And that could be through doing really excellent work or it could be through doing something positive around the school, like always being polite, holding the door open for people, being a, being a good neighbor to people. In every single lesson, at least one golden ticket is given out, and that's a, a reward for someone who's done the best work in that lesson. We also have demerits. So if you break one of their rules, you get a demerit. One demerit is a warning. Two demerits is a detention. Three demerits, you're sent out of class. And just to be clear, demerits could be for not following elements of slant. So if you are looking out the window when you should be concentrating on what the teacher is saying, you could get a demerit for that. If you shout out, you can get a demerit for that. You can get a demerit as well. So as a result, behavior is really, really good at Thetford Academy. So when you come here, I expect you to be fitting into a community of pupils that behave well, work hard, and get on with each other well. Thank you very much.